guys, what's going on? It's Curtis here, also known as the True Jack, back again for a brand new video on this channel where we're going to be discussing the recent transfer news. Deadline day was yesterday, and we have made a triple sign in. Yes, Swansea have made three new sign ins yesterday, well, overnight even. Well, we got one done before 11 o'clock, and the others after um, 11 o'clock. So, yeah, the three new faces into our club on deadline day, plus we've got a player that's come back from a loan spell and a player has gone out on loan. So we start off with the new signings and the three signings we have made recently are Morgan Whitaker from Derby County, Paul Ariola on loan from DC United and Kieran Freeman from Swindon Town. So we start off with Morgan Whitaker. So Morgan Whitaker, Derby youngster, mixed uh, feelings about him really well. Derby fans are saying that he done well at the academy. He scored his first senior goal against Birmingham City, which was the final day last season, if I have to believe, where they won 3-1. So Morgan Whitaker, he's a star for future. He's t only 20 years old. Plus, Liam Cullen is going to be out for a few months, so we needed a proper striker to fill in for Liam Cullen, who's out for most seasons. So is Wayne Routledge as well, after they both came off injured against Nottingham Forest after we beat them 5-1 in the FA Cup. So yeah, hopefully Routledge and Cullen get speedy recoveries and it'll be interesting to see what Morgan Whitaker brings. Well, Morgan Whitaker probably might be at the end of 23s for quite a lot. He's only 20 years old, but 700k we paid for him. Darling fans say he's done well in the academy. He's just making his breakthrough into the first team. Yeah, apparently he's done all right. So yeah, hopefully he does all right with us, to be honest with you. Even though he's not going to get played much regarding our um, form and the players we have, so he's likely to be in under 23s. And the other sign-in we're going to be talking about, the second sign-in, Paul Ariola, the second US international to join this winter alongside Jordan Morris. Jordan Morris and Paul Ariola, great mates they are. It's good to see them reunited. The US link-up, he's done very well with DC United. Obviously, he's 25 years old, born in California. In, in the United States squad alongside Jordan Morris, He's done very well. He's scored eight goals in 35 appearances for the USA team, and he has scored 14 goals in 69 appearances for DC United, a current team he's on loan from DC United. It's our owners of a club as well. So, yeah, he's quite a good sign, in my opinion. Um, Paul Ariel, he can play winger, he can play right back, so we needed a bit of cover for Connor Roberts. So, yeah, Paul Ariola, good sign, in my opinion. He's done well in the MLS, and Jordan Morris. So, yeah, we put some. Decent pulls from the MLS, in my opinion. Hopefully, they can do well in the championship. John Morris came on against Rotherham the other day. Didn't do much, but hopefully, he'll get into some action where we got a massive game against Norwich Friday night. They both should be in a squad. And also, the third signing made on deadline day, Kieran Freeman, a Welsh right wing back. He's also covered for Roberts as well. So, goodness knows how this team is going to plan out. We've got a, good, we got a very good squad depth now in recent years. Probably the best squad depth in... Um, the last few years, to be honest, we should be rotating the squad really. But Kieran Freeman, he's a Welsh international. Three weeks ago, he in fact signed for Swindon Town, but he signed for us on deadline day. So it was a very, very strange move. That obviously about Kieran Freeman, he was part of the Sheffield United team that went up from the Championship to the Premier League, where they finished second that season. Yeah, Welsh international. He's born in England, but through grandparents, he qualifies for Wales. So it's good to see Welsh players joining our club. And he can be a decent backup option for Conor Roberts. So, goodness, I was going to plan out with Ariola and Norton. We got a few right backs. We got yeah, Manon's cover left back for Bidwell. We got we got loads of options that team. So we should be rotating the squads instead of keeping the side unchanged for the next few fixtures. So yeah, Kieran Freeman not a bad sign in my opinion as well. Even though he signed with Swindon not long ago. So yeah, I don't know how that happened, but strange for transfer really. But. Yeah, other than that, Jordan Garrick has made his way to Swindon on loan as well. Swap deal for Kieran Freeman, really. Yeah, Kieran Freeman was meant to be short term anyway, but Jordan Garrick, he's going to need some games because of the new signings that we just made. And he can gain more experience and hopefully he can become a decent player next season. Well, depending on what division we're in, he might go on loan again if we go up to Premier League or second in the league at the moment. But overall, in this transfer window, we've done some very good business, I thought. Plus, Joel Asoro has been recalled from Giona. He has not made a single appearance for the Italian team. Yeah, which is unfortunate for him, really. Joel Asoro did well at Groenigan on loan where he went last season, the first season under Steve Cooper. And will he make his breakthrough team? I don't think he will. I don't think he's in Cooper's plans, but he should be in the under 23 squad. So, yeah, Joel Asoro, he could be on the bench now and again, but not as much because of the current squad depth we got. But. 
yeah, good luck to John Garrick as well. At Swindon Town, he's going to need some game time. But if we weren't making the Ariola and Freeman signings, and Garrick probably would have stayed. He probably would have been good enough for a right wing back cover, but he's actually a winger. But yeah, hopefully he does well in League One. So I'm really looking forward to see what Whitaker, Ariola, and Freeman will bring into the squad. No, they might not get much games, but Ariola might be in now and again. But other than that. Uh, I think a decent sign is my opinion. Joe Soro, he won't be in a squad much, to be honest with you. He should be in the under 23s. I kind of feel for him because he's not getting much games in a minute. So, yeah, you might. If we if he doesn't get much games, then we might do what we did with Tom Carroll, where we terminate his contract. So, anyway, guys, really looking forward to see what the free new signs bring. And if you want to see more content, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and yeah, peace.